Hi everyone, this is Deb Tim and welcome to my channel. Take a second, subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss upcoming videos. Now today we're looking at Elvis, my Jack Dempsey's Aquarium. It's a 75 gallon and it's home to Elvis and a bunch of little um, new additions. And I also added a red devil that was in my African Cicla tank. So let's see how they're doing. So please stay tuned. Only about a week ago, I moved my red devil, who was staying in my mixed African cichlid aquarium, back to be with Elvis. Since I had moved Loki in with Darwin, my flower horn, I felt it was safe to make this move. He was surprisingly docile in with the cichlids. He didn't bother any of the fish at all in the tank. Actually, I think the Mbuna were keeping him in line. I would see them dart after the Red Devil from time to time. He spent a fair bit of his time hiding, although he'd be right in the mix when it was feeding time. This really surprised me at how well he did. I honestly think he would be okay in this tank for a while. Once he gained some size, I believe I would have to consider rehoming him. This is the Red Devil while he was in with Alvis. It wasn't for very long. They seemed to um, get along really well. He wasn't... Um, going after really any of the fish that I could tell. But then he started turning dark. And this had me concerned. He began to show short bouts of aggression without causing injury, more like chasing. Well, I figured I would just keep a real close eye on things and see how he does. And if I get concerned, I can easily move him back to my mixed African cichlid tank. So take a look at him and you'll see what I mean when I say he got really dark. By the way, I named him Dagon. That is the name of the avenging devil of the sea in Philistine. Appropriate, don't you think? Well, like this, he doesn't even resemble a red devil. He's not even as dark as he got. His entire head was almost black, and under his chin, he was very red. Well, this really worried me. I knew something was up with Dagon. He stayed close to Elvis, often rubbing himself against him. He didn't seem to bother with the other fish, but he just didn't like the Jack Dempsey pair. I think maybe because he claimed Alice and felt they may threaten that. Now, of course, this is only my own speculation. At this point, I just kept a close watch, but I didn't feel the need to remove him. That was a very big mistake. This is what I woke up to. One night of horror for this poor little cichlid fellow. He sustained incredible injuries. Not only are his fins bitten, but his scales had been torn off right down to the tender flesh beneath. I feel so sick and guilty that I didn't remove Dagon as soon as I saw the threatening colors he was displaying. The problem with fish is there are so many colors they display and actions they demonstrate that have so many, many meanings, and it's very hard to pinpoint what the problem is. Well, with this situation, darkening colors, it's often a sign of stress. I was certainly wrong here. The little female sustained a bit of an injury at the base of her dorsal fin. There is hope for this pair, though. Their entire demeanor has already changed in a couple days. The male comes out of hiding and spends much more time exploring the tank. My next job was to catch and treat both of these injured fish. 
In order to catch them, I had to literally turn their tank upside down. It wasn't quite as difficult as I had expected. I didn't have to bother Elvis at all. In fact, he didn't even come out of his cave. I actually scooped these two up in one scoop. Here I have their tetracycline bath. I take about a liter of tank water and dissolve a quarter teaspoon of tetracycline powder in it. Once it's ready, I add the two fish I am treating. This is the same medication I use for all injuries and infections that may need help healing. When Elvis was so sick, I thought I would lose him. I treated him right in the tank with tetracycline. Loki was the only fish living in the tank with him, and he had been exposed as well. So for me to tr treat the tank was the way to go. I get the tetracycline powder through a salesman who supplies my vet. The problem is I can only purchase it in one kilogram bags. I simply freeze it until I use it. I have sent some to friends and they have also experienced great results. Because there are other fish without injuries in this tank, I will not treat the tank directly. Each morning, yes, that means scooping out and moving the plants and everything to get the fish. That's once a day I go through that and then I give them a 10-minute bath. It's amazing how quickly you can see improvements in the treated fish. Now, I don't know how well you can see these two, but they are remarkably improved. This is only after two baths. They are doing so much better and so much more active and eating well. So I am sure he will overcome this. And here you can see the two Jack Dempsey's after three soakings. Now I've been soaking them in the tetracycline bath for approximately 15 minutes every other day. And they are just healing wonderfully. I'm so happy. So until next time, this is Step Tim signing out. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day, and I will keep you updated on how my little Jack Dempsey's are doing. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.